Okay, I'm showing you a movie of my uh, of the homemade digital television antenna I made. It's on my drawing table right now. I've taken it down because I don't need it anymore. I got cable, uh, cable internet, and cable TV came with it. Anyway, it's this simple. This is the only part you may have to buy, and that is one of these little pigtail, uh, 75 to 300 ohm coaxial. This part's the coaxial cable part with the two little wires that I have soldered onto the ends of the uh, the coat hangers. Now all of the rest of this is made with coat, coat hangers, screws, and cork. And here's the path. It goes from here across to here, up that same side, and then back across over here. It does not join at the top. A separate wire hooks around there it's, it's, it's this wire and it just loops around. That crosses over the top of a cork. That makes some distance. I'm trying to equal the distance at least of these two to keep these wires from touching each other. And it ends up down here on the other side. It doesn't matter which one you hook to which. Alright, the cork separates them. What I did is I cut a, a slot in the cork. You can kind of see it there cut one on the top and one on the bottom in kind of an X shape, an invisible X. One part of the X goes across here, the other one goes the opposite direction but on the bottom of the cork. Same thing up here. These screws are six inches apart. The wire itself is 21 inches long and each of these is 14 inches folded in half. It's just a V. And each one is held down with a screw Focus, there we go. Held down with a screw on top of the wire. So the, um, the, the, on top of the wire, and then the wire holds each V down. You can see they're all done that way. And that should pull in digital TV for you if you're in direct line of a digital station. Here in San Jose, I was able to get 44 channels, and two of them were in English. So you might have more luck.